Regular people dress up like ghosts and have a little fun, but there are some people who think that ghosts and spirits are with us every day and trying to reach out to us. In Hamilton, there's a 150-year-old home that's become a law office, and the people who work there often see and hear things they can't explain. Local 12's Joe Webb and photographer Ed Burkholder join forces with some ghost hunters who check the place out. You may or may not believe what they found. The 200 block of Dayton Street in Hamilton was developed before the Civil War. 229 Dayton dates back to at least 1860 when it was a home. It's an office today, and the people who work here think the building's past may live on in the present. Weird things would happen. The phones, first and foremost, would constantly ring and call each other at different workstations. The front door would open by itself many times. There have been thumps and bumps and unexplained footstep sounds, shadows that seem to move. I believe there is paranormal activity. So they contacted Tri-State Ohio Paranormal Society, or TRIOPS, to investigate. In three trips to 229 Dayton, they have not been disappointed. Using night vision cameras, laser grids, and electromagnetic force detectors, TRIOPS blanketed 229 Dayton from top to bottom. In the basement, they set up a pin light, and as they've done before, they summoned a spirit to light it up. For the first time, their cameras tracked an unexplained orb that flew toward the light and disappeared into it. It was like winning the Super Bowl because we have been saying that for so many years and we have gotten so much pushback on the flashlight evidence. Pushback that the lights are rigged. We heard those same questions after our story on Ryan's Tavern a few years ago, that unexplained light show in the basement there. On this trip with TriOps, they had me take a brand new flashlight still in the packaging, put it together and place it in the same spot in 229 Dayton's basement. It lit up again. 229 Dayton Street in Hamilton is home to the McKinsey and Snyder Law Firm today, but over the years, since 1861, it's been all kinds of things. It's been a private home. It was a homeless shelter, and for many years, it was a funeral home. The owner died here. Cahill Funeral Home was in business at 229 Dayton Street for 70 years. Hundreds of people were prepared for burial here. The bodies were stored in a detached building connected by a covered walkway. It was here investigators captured the most startling images during our visit, a series of clearly defined orbs. All going different directions. You know, one, the big one right in front of the camera that is just out of the blue, it's right there. You know, you have one that uh, shoots down the side of a wall. You have another one that actually kind of flies into the EMF detector that I'm holding and goes off a different direction. Orbs are often dismissed as reflections off pieces of dust or bugs, magnified by night vision cameras and infrared, or as it's called, IR lighting. But this video was taken with a cell phone camera in complete darkness. There's no IR lighting back there. So there's no reflective light of any kind. It was pitch dark except for the light that was on the EMF detector and the light from the gentleman's phone that was taking the video. The data from the investigation is telling, but it only adds up to suspicion, no actual proof. Do I think that the place is haunted? Personally, yes. But as an organization, I'm not gonna say that because I do not have the evidence to back that up. That's my personal belief. Yes, this place is haunted. Haunted or not, you can be the judge. At 229 Dayton Street, the work of McKenzie and Snyder goes on in a place where the letter of the law and the spirit of the law seem to get along. In Hamilton, Joe Webb, Local 12 News. Ooh.